Let's solve problem number 6 in subnetting. In a block of addresses, we know the IP address of one host is 25.34.12.56 and the subnet mask is represented in a slash notation which is slash 16. What is the last address that is the limited broadcast address in this block? We have already solved this in the previous lecture, but in the previous lecture we had intended to find the network address. But we are required to find the broadcast address in this lecture. Let's solve this first with the reverse engineering method which we had dealt in the previous case. The reverse engineering method starts with the subnet mask. We know the subnet mask is a class B subnet mask which is 255.255.0.0. When we convert this subnet mask into binary, we will be getting all 1s in the first 2 octets and all zeros in the next 2 octets. Then, where is the first one we are encountering? The first one we are encountering in the second octet, right? So in the second octet, the first one is here. And what is the decimal place of this first one? When we move from right to left, the decimal place of this one is exactly 1. So the subnet generator is 1 and the octet position is 2, right? Because this subnet generator is in the second octet. So the subnet generator is equal to 1 and the octet position is equal to 2. And we have already created this network ranges. I had just copied from the previous problem and I will paste it here. We know the first subnet will be from 25.34.0.0 to 25.34.255.255. If you want to know how I have generated this, I request you to watch the previous problem that is solved problem number 5. Now, the IP address which is mentioned in the question is falling in the first subnet. We know the first address is the network address and the last address of the subnet is the broadcast address. So obviously, 25.34.255.255 is the broadcast address of this subnet. The IP address of one of the hosts is given in the question and we found out the broadcast address of this entire network, right? This is one way of solving this and this way of solving the problem is the reverse engineering approach. Now, we will solve this in a formal way. In the previous lecture, we have found the network address by using a simple AND operation that is the bitwise AND operation. But for finding the broadcast address in this problem, we are going to use the bitwise OR operation. Just see how I am going to do this. So first we need to take the IP address which is given in the question, right? The IP address which is given in the question is 25.34.12.56. As usual, we need to convert this IP address into binary and we converted this into binary. Now, we need to bring in the subnet mask. And what is the subnet mask that is mentioned in this question? Slash 16, right? Slash 16 means we need to fill in 16 ones here and then remaining zeros. Let's fill that. So we are bringing in 16 ones here and 16 zeros here because this is the slash 16 subnet mask. And the equivalent of slash 16 in decimal is 255.255.0.0. In the previous problem, we just did AND operation with these values, right? Now here one additional step. The additional step is before making the OR operation, we need to do the mask complement. So this is the subnet mask. We need to do the subnet mask complement. Complement means it's simple ones complement. So here we will convert all ones as zeros and all zeros as ones. So when we do that, we'll be getting the first two octets with full of zeros and the last two octets is full of one. Please note I'm pinning this step here. It's a very important step. We need to do subnet mask complement before progressing with the OR operation. In the previous problem when we did a network address calculation, we didn't do this complement operation. Simply we have taken the IP address, subnet mask, converted that into binary and performed the bitwise AND operation. But here we need to take the IP address first and then we need to take the subnet mask and then inverse the subnet mask that is make one's complement to the subnet mask. So this is a very important step. The step is mask complement. After we complete this mask complement, as usual we will start proceeding with the operation. The operation for finding the broadcast address is the bitwise OR operation. Please note, for finding the network address, we did AND operation. For finding the broadcast address, we need to perform OR operation. Now we will carry out the bitwise OR operation. The bitwise OR operation is very simple. When any one of the inputs is 1, we will be getting 1 as the output. So if both the inputs are 0, we will be getting 0 as the output. For 0, 0, we will be getting 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 for these combinations, we will be getting 1. In this case, we will be getting this as the result. Let's check it out now. So let's take the first octet and we will verify it. 
So for 0, 0 will be getting 0. For 0, 0, it's 0. 0, 0, it's 0. 1, 0, it's 1. Any one of the inputs is high, right? So 1, 0, it is 1. 0, 0, it is 0. And 1, 0, it is 1, right? We will take the third octet and verify it. In the third octet, we can see at least one of the inputs is 1, right? First four places are 0 in the IP address part. But fortunately, we are having four ones in the subnet mask part. The next two bits are 1 here as well as here. And the next two bits are 0 in the IP address part but 1 in the subnet mask part. So at least one input is 1 in this case. So we had just performed the bitwise OR operation. Now let's convert this octet into decimal. And when we convert this octet into decimal, we'll be getting 25.34.255.255. So this is the broadcast address. Again, I repeat, when you are intended to find the broadcast address, please ensure this step. After converting the subnet mask into binary, do once complement. And that's it guys. Before we conclude, let's see the homework question. The question is, in a block of addresses, we know the IP address of one host is 182.44.82.16/26. What is the last address that is the limited broadcast address in this block? So you are required to find out the broadcast address. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.